Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 17 Mod Spotlight. Today we're showing off the Bednar Pack, which is a plow and a fertilizer tank. Now this is the box standard plow. Uh, it is regarded as a cultivator by the game here. Um, it is in the plow section, but if you look at the thing here, a cultivator prefers fields for the next sowing. You can get it in standard, profi, which didn't get actually, and the 30 box version. This is standard, this is the 30 box version, and this is the profi version. This is the 30 box itself, which is in fertilizer spreaders and holds 2,000 liters of fertilizer. I don't actually have any fertilizer at the moment, so let's get one. Let's get a pallet because I want to try this out in full spec. And you can see there that it's got a tank. Or it's got a pipe coming out of the tank. Now, I have been informed... Let's bring the hut up here. Um, let's open the cover. It's a nice little animation. I have been informed that this pipe does actually work. And goes around the... Uh, oh, it does. It goes around your tractor. Which is a really nice little thing. Now i got to fill up the box, which helps if i got it selected. So there we go, we got a thousand litres of fertiliser in the fertile box. And let's just go over to our uh, plough and cultivator and everything else test field and see how this works out. Because I genuinely have no idea how this, wor how this is going to work. Um, and by the way, I know some of the mods come with, like, readmes and whatnot. I tend not to read them. Um, because I feel like mods should um, be kind of self-explanatory. So this is just a bog standard plow with some quite nice uh, particle animations. And the rollers at the back to kind of tamp the, the ground down. It does fertilize as you go along. You can see kind of... If I do a bit of a weird turn here, you can see the fertilized texture kind of coming off the sides. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the fertilizer goes in. It should be at the front, but it looks like it's more towards the rear because you can see that the fertilizer texture is missing. If you take a really tight turn like this, um, it looks like the fertilized texture actually goes in at the very, very back. It's the last thing that's put in, which I guess is kind of fine. Stop up there like that. Just raise up the uh, the plow, so you can see. There you go. Plows, um, fertilizers at the same time. So this is kind of a useful piece of equipment, in a way. You can get your plowing and fertilizing done in one pass instead of um, needing two passes for it. I like the, I like the idea behind this. I think maybe the fertilized texture should go in at the front instead of the back. That would be kind of an up... Uh, uh, would it be an optimization? Yeah, I'd call it an optimization. Um, it doesn't have many bells and whistles, but I do like the dynamic pipe thing they've got going on. You can see that it, it kind of goes a bit wonky, but it's, it's a nice idea. Um, and I've been told that it does work with most tractors. It just kind of finds the edge of the collisions, puts the pipe along there, the extra pipe along there, and um, works with it. So that, this is really nice. I like it. Um, I may well keep this, actually, just because it's a quite nice little mod. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want more Mod Spotlights, I'm trying to cover almost everything in the contest. Um, so I've been doing these for a few days. There is a playlist available that will be in the end screen in a few moments' time. I'll leave you by saying, I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching Farming Simulator 17 Mod Spotlight. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay safe. And goodbye.